Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about prayers, and this time, another prayer that makes use of the Hail Mary, the Angelus. The Angelus is a prayer which makes reference to numerous verses of the Bible. It's meant to be said at morning, noon, and evening, but can really be said any time. It's also normal for it to be said by a group, so it has sections meant to be said by the one leading the prayer, and sections meant to be said in response. If the whole prayer is being said by a single person, they would say both parts, of course. Leader. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. Response. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Here, we talk about how the angel visited Mary, giving her a message from God, and how the Holy Spirit caused Jesus to be conceived in her womb. After this, the Hail Mary is recited, then, Leader, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Response, Be it done unto me according to thy word. We're urged to pay attention to Mary's response to the angel, and to give the same kind of response to God in our own lives. Next, another Hail Mary, followed by, Leader, And the word was made flesh, response, and dwelt among us. This one is straight from the first chapter of John. As a result of Mary's acceptance of God's wishes, Jesus was made flesh within her womb and came to dwell on this earth. Next, there's another Hail Mary, and then, Leader, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Response, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. As in the litany that we talked about in episode 181, we ask Mary that we be made worthy of the good gifts of Jesus, a very hard request indeed. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts. This is directed at God. We ask him to give us his graces, because we can't do anything without those. That we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, we admit several things here, that Jesus was the incarnation of the Son of God, that he was the Messiah, and that he was made known by an angelic messenger, as we've been describing throughout the prayer. May, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The only way that any of us will be brought to glory, or resurrected from the dead, will be because of the passion and sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. We can't just bring ourselves back to life, after all. Next time, are there any good prayers to say when a person has just died? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.